Hi guys, so this week I finally finished transforming the Idiot Proof or Bulletproof Forms in Excel series into a premium course on TeachExcel.com. And what I want to do this week is to walk you through that course, show you how it works, and also recap what we did here for the last eight weeks. Now let's take a look at the premium course. Click the link in the description of this video and you can look through it with me. Now here's the course on Teach Excel. And over the last few weeks, I've gotten a lot of feedback from all of you about how you would like the course to be. Feedback on YouTube and email and all over the place. And I tried to incorporate as much of that as possible. So what I've done is I've broken it up into big sections down here. You're going to see the entire course is on one single page, so it's easy to follow and view everything. And I've got all the tutorials listed down here. Once you purchase the course, these will be clickable links. And when you click the link, the video is going to load up here, play it here, and you can see a description and download the Excel file right here for each video. So it's very easy to get all the content for it. And each big section down here is going to be based off of one of the previous tutorials. So formatting, we've got formatting the form, that's the big tutorial for that, and then some variations or some other things that you may want to do that are related to that. It's particularly useful once we get down here where we go to saving form data and deleting data as well, where you can have things like password protecting the data worksheet or requiring update confirmations or passwords to update the record. There's all sorts of helpful additional topics that I've added into each section so that you can make a more robust form. As well, there's a little additional topics section at the bottom here. So all of the tutorials are here. If you look over here to the right, you'll see that there's a little image to show you if an Excel file is attached with the tutorial. Every video in this course should have one except for the introduction. And you'll also see a little box right here. The box is checked once you've watched the video. So it allows you to track your progress through the course. And from now until January, this course will be 30% off. So you're gonna save a bunch of money if you buy it in the next two weeks. And when you go here, before you purchase it, you will see a big Purchase Now button down here with some additional information. So this is our premium course. I'm really happy to be able to offer it to you guys. And now let's do a little recap of our Idiot Proof or Bulletproof form. Now, let's talk about what we did for the last eight weeks. I want to recap this form and all the cool things that we did with it and then talk about some of the cool things that I show you how to add to it from the premium course. So we have a nice formatted form over here. You can't select anything out of it, only the input fields. You can tell the user what to input when you hover over it and I show you some additional ways to do that or an additional way in the premium course. We have a nice drop down menu. You can find records after you store them. Just type in the ID number and it's going to fill in. Well, apparently I deleted Thanos. Type in the ID number and it's going to fill in. And then we can change value, we can update it, we can submit it all by clicking this button. So let's move Tony Stark from orange to green. Submit. Success. We can view the data over here on the data tab. This is what we use for our data storage worksheet. In the premium course, I show you lots of different ways to hide or protect this data so it's not just always visible like this, including adding password protection to it. And if you do not input a value into the field and you click Submit, we show you the count of the errors, and visibly you see there is an error. So it's a pretty cool little form. I also added, let's get someone back in here. We added a nice little clear form button in the premium course so you can easily just remove the values if you want. And of course we've got the delete record feature. Here it works just by inputting an ID number. That's the default way that we did it. So if we want to delete Iron Man, hit enter. Go over here to verify it. Iron Man is gone and we can delete a record like that. In the premium course, I show you how to request a delete confirmation, as well as how to require a password input before you can delete a record. So you hit delete, a window pops up, input the ID number, and then after that, another window says, hey, you need to enter a password in order to delete this record. And then you can input the password and the record will be deleted or it'll say incorrect password.
So there's all sorts of cool little features that I show you how to add to the form in the premium course that there just wasn't time for here on YouTube. But let's go to the VBA window, check out all the stuff we did. So we have quite a few modules starting with the form validation and storing data, selecting data, storing and updating data and deleting data. Lots of stuff over here. You can even see a very hidden worksheet over here. So we've done quite a lot of stuff in eight weeks. Now I built this course based off of feedback from all of you guys. I've been listening to you from email and YouTube and private messages. So I hope that this is what you were looking for. If not, please message me. Let me know your thoughts so that I can make better courses in the future. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments on YouTube or here at Teach Excel. Just click the contact button and shoot me an email.